Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kerr, and I'm the manager of the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada on the North Las Vegas campus. Welcome to the first installment of our Las Vegas Night Sky Weekly. In these videos, we want to show you what's available to look at in the nighttime sky for the upcoming week. In the evening sky out there, look to the west just as the sun is setting, and you should be able to see both Mercury and Mars. Mercury starts the week nearly in line with bright stars Castor and Pollux in Gemini, and on the 26th, the moon will be between Mercury and Pollux. It may not be easy to see, depending on where in Las Vegas you're viewing, but you do have a chance to see it. Mars starts the week higher in the sky, just above bright star Regulus and Leo the Lion. Look for the moon to be just to the left of Mars on the evening of the 29th. Mars will look like a pinkish-red star-like object. You can usually tell whether it's a planet or not by whether it twinkles. Stars twinkle, planets shine with a steadier light. Over in the east, just after sunset, Hercules is getting high enough to see. With binoculars or a telescope, you can see if you can find the Hercules globular cluster, also known as M13. This is about the best globular cluster visible from the northern hemisphere. Globular clusters are large spherical collections of stars that orbit larger galaxies. They can contain up to 250,000 stars or so. A little lower in the east, you'll find bright star Vega in the constellation Lyra. Vega, along with Deneb in Cygnus the Swan and Altair in Aquila the Eagle, forms an asterism known as the Summer Triangle. An asterism is a group of stars that is not a constellation but still has its own identity. They can be made from stars in multiple constellations or can be a group of stars within a constellation. The most famous asterism is the Big Dipper, as it is a part of the constellation Ursa Major. Speaking of the Big Dipper, look for it high in the sky, almost overhead at sunset, as the Dipper seems to be in a position to dump its contents. Trace a line downward from the two stars at the end of the bowl of the Big Dipper to find yourself at Polaris, the North Star. It's not very bright, but it's usually still visible even from Las Vegas. For you night owls, Saturn rises around 1 a.m. at the start of the week, and Venus will rise at about 3 a.m. Venus will be the brightest star-like object you early risers will be able to see looking to the east. The moon will be to the left and a little bit down from the Pleiades on Monday the 23rd. Join me again next Monday for new weekly sky highlights. I look forward to seeing you at the planetarium.